Matthew 10 is a chapter about defining moments and redefining words. See, in every great war movie, there's this moment where the good leader comes out to the front line and reminds the soldiers of why they are fighting. But what makes that speech so compelling is its brutal honesty. That's what Jesus is doing here as he's sending his disciples out to preach. He's laying out the true cost of bearing his name. That's the defining moment we are faced with in this chapter. Now you may be thinking, but I, I came to Jesus because of the comfort and peace and victory. You know, the happy stuff. Well, this is where Jesus redefines those words. Because when you decide to follow Christ, you lean not into your own understanding and you surrender to his word. When he speaks of comfort, he means the Holy Spirit that guides and comforts us through the trials, but he warns there will be trials. When he talks of peace, he's talking about eternal peace that helps us face death and our creator, but he warns that this world is enemies with that peace. And when he talks about victory, he talks about no longer fearing death of this body, but instead fearing God, who has the power to keep or destroy the eternal soul. This is what it means to follow Christ and take up your cross. And in verse 7, we find the important message we're to carry to the world that the enemy will do anything to silence. And as you go, preach saying, the kingdom of heaven is at hand.